if there's a, a sound that is uh, synonymous with dawn in the desert, it's the call of the desert lark, which carries across the desert silence for miles, really. Um, but I'm not being uh, woken up to the sound of the desert lark this morning. I'm being woken to the sound of the bulbul. And uh, those of you who've ever spent any time in Arabia will know that the bulbul is the bird that first calls from the bushes. It's the first music that you hear uh, pretty much throughout entire Arabia. It's a beautiful bird. So this morning I'm being woken to the sound of the bulbul. Um, I'm not surrounded by sand for the first time in a few days. I'm surrounded by uh, incredible greenery because I'm in a place called the Al Asa Oasis in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia. We arrived yesterday. Um, our second night camping was uh, up high in the sand dunes. Um, we could see the glow of a distant oil uh, exploration site in the background, but a spectacular starry sky last night. It was when Philby was camped, we were, we were bang on Philby's trail yesterday using his diary notes. Um, we, were, we were absolutely on top of where he was walking 105 years ago. And in that same location, they lost one of their sheep to a wolf around the camp, despite the best efforts of a guard to uh, shoo the wolf away. But no wolves for us. Our camera trap um, the night before, the, 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 the bait, which was a half-eaten chicken, was completely removed. So we're looking forward to seeing what took that. But last night in, 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 in the sands, there was a, there were, we had no visitors. Uh, so we set off yesterday morning uh, for another, another 18 kilometres, um, coming across uh, uh, an Esba, uh, uh, a small farm in the, uh, in the middle of the dunes, which consisted of really just a, 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 of some fencing and, and a herd of camels and um, being looked after by a wonderfully... Uh, excited Sudanese camel handler uh, called Abdullah who was very very pleased to, uh, to to see us I don't think he'd seen anyone for quite a long time so he walked with us for quite a long way and boy was he fit we were there walking with our water and podcast recording equipment and sun cream and notebook and he just strode off into the into the emptiness with absolutely nothing but he walked like a Maasai warrior just striding ahead huge strides and Within five minutes, he was out of sight. I mean, a man completely at home in his environment. But the end of yesterday, we um, we entered the wonderful green oasis of Al Asa, and that was Philby's first real stop of any significance on his journey in um, in 1917. Uh, you know, it's it's a place of two and a half million palm trees it's where the water sort of geologically reaches the surface which drains out of the central plateau and it's always been an oasis it's always been well known for its agricultural potential um when philby um arrived here he he, he described it as as just a, a green barrier on the skyline ahead and uh, and the joy uh, the joy that they felt when they saw that green barrier um, it was a place also where he passed on to the next stage of his journey and the march, his march over the dreary waterless steppe desert continued and ours will continue um, tomorrow. But hitherto, he wrote, we had worn European clothes with the inquisitiveness of the Hofuf crowds. Hofuf at the time had a population of about 30,000 people. The inquisitiveness of the uh, Hofuf crowds uh, and the advice of our hosts decided us to adopt the graceful and, I may say, comfortable apparel of the Arabs. This change was effected and a suitable caravan collected. We had to discard the donkeys owing to their inability to endure so long a march without water. And before long, we struck out into the desert, carrying with us goat skins uh, with all the water that we should need for all purposes, drinking, cooking and washing for a march of five days, during which we would see no other. So I'm not sure whether we will see no other. Our plan is to uh, continue our own journey um, west towards Riyadh. Later on today, we're going to visit the heart of Hofuf. Uh, because in the heart of Hofuf, Philby took some photographs of the souk 
and some of the uh, buildings of sig significance, a couple of old mosques. So we're going to spend today uh, trying to find those those old mosques which were so important uh, to him when he first came here in 1917. And we can compare we can compare uh, new with old. But I'd just like to finish by reading the, the, the quote from Philby's notes where he spotted um, the oasis of Alassa. And he says, Towards the evening of the second day, we looked down from the last sand ridge onto the oasis of Alassa, the most flourishing spot in all desert Arabia. There is no God but God, exclaim, exclaimed my companions, one after another, as they topped the rise, to be met by the scene of fertility in the midst of the wilderness. A great black forest of palms, with here and there a hamlet of mud huts, over which hung a light pall of smoke between us and the setting sun.